I'm so lucky that I have you by my side for all of it, for all the happiness that I know we will share in the future and for the hard times that I'll need your hands to squeeze tight. You and I can love loudly in silence, and that's why I know our love is true and honest. Always knowing that when I look down, your hand will be at mine. asking to marry me. <laughs> he sure did. <laughs> Out on the shore. Boy, I was nervous. <laughs> nervous Nelly. But I also feel so right. I love you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Cute. Tom, I am so excited to be your wife. I can't get over the way you make me feel. You look at me and smile. And I fell in love with that smile because that alone makes me feel beautiful and special in yours. Honestly, you're the true romantic in this relationship. I remember the first time I left Eugene for Portland after we met, I opened the door and you were standing there holding a tiny recycled jam jar filled with pink wildflowers that you picked along the way and a mixed CD to listen to on my drive back. I cried the whole way home, not because I was sad, but because I could so clearly envision what our life could be. I can see it as clear as I did that day. Our life would be filled with friends, family, and joy. This has rung true for the last nine years and two days, and it can only get better from here. Do you remember how I first met? Do you remember the first words I said to you? I came up and said, you look familiar, which is true. You did look familiar, like a beautiful movie star. But what I was trying to say was you felt magnetic and I needed to be around you. So much so that I asked you on a date to Hendrix Park. Remember that night too. Remember looking into your eyes and thinking how beautiful they are. It's a lot, it's an ephemeral beauty, a lot like when you're in nature and you see something beautiful, like a waterfall or the stars at night. You don't know how long they'll be there, so you do your best, um, hoping you can find one more thing to talk about. And if everything goes right, you'll spend too much time talking on a bench together in Hendrix Park. When I was a kid, I remember seeing my grandma pray with rosary beads each night. She'd pray for the health and happiness of everyone she loved. I believe she was praying that someday I would find you because you're the only thing I need to be happy. My grandma loves you because she can tell you have a good heart. And I know that comes from the way you were raised. You tell me stories of your grandma, Carolyn, about how she fostered you as an artist, introduced you to new cultures, and how she taught you to be graceful. In that same way, your parents, your aunts and uncles, your great aunts and great uncles, they've all poured so much love into you. Your family's love has grown you like a flower, and now I get to continue that love, letting you grow toward happiness, waiting patiently in times of sadness, helping you find a reason to laugh, and sometimes an excuse to dance. I can't pretend to know that tomorrow will be perfect, but I do promise to make today good, and I'll try my best tomorrow. If I can keep that up, it'll amount to a good life together. I'll end this with the same words I say to, say to you before bed each night. I love you, Judy.
husband and wife, it feels natural. We may have taken our time to get here, but it wasn't because we weren't ready before. It's because we knew how sweet it was to have this kind of love, and we weren't in a rush to get to the next chapter. You and I are in this for the long game, always looking forward to what's next while taking in all of the days in between.